I'm Jamie Sturgeon Zile. I graduated from St. Mary's in 98 and I own Gem Bridal in downtown Pleasanton. Well, uh, right after my husband and I got married, we start, I started researching the industry. I went to a lot of places in the Bay Area to look for a wedding gown. This really weren't doing it for me. So I went down to San Diego where I grew up and there were so many more stores that had lots of stuff to offer and a huge uh, price point array that I thought was gonna be great. I just really saw an opportunity and my dad owned his own business and I think I just always had that entrepreneurial spirit. I can look at something and kind of figure out what needs to be and I just wrote out my vision for the store and it's definitely evolved because my first store had maybe 800 square feet and I couldn't even feel that my first year. Uh, then we were there for about three years. We moved into a bigger location and then we moved into the location that we are today. I knew that I just wanted to give really great service to brides and what dresses I wanted to bring in. My model honestly was kind of fumbling through and learning stuff. I mean still today it's a constant evolution. I mean brides are changing. Brides aren't the same, looking for the same thing they were looking for 14 years ago and I just started making friends in the industry. I basically I just uh, made a list of all my favorite designers and just cold called them like hey how do I get in there? How do I start? I, you know, when you're at St. Mary's, you're always challenged to ask questions and not be fearful. And I actually remember a seminar teacher saying, you guys all sitting at this table have an above average IQ. Do you really think that any question you're gonna ask is not gonna be a good question? And so I always just kind of think, I'm like, you know what? I don't know what I'm doing when I first started, but I'm gonna figure it out because I know that I'm smart and I have the background that I need and I'm just gonna figure it out. And by asking questions and not being fearful to ask those questions from the designers, not being fearful of asking for the sale from my customers, that's really has made us really, really successful. I, anyone who opens their own business, I really think you need to go to corporate first. You really need to get some sort of experience and see how other companies are doing stuff. Work for multiple companies. I worked for advertising agencies and marketing agencies before I opened the store and learned so much. And let me tell you, working at an advertising agency, you have multiple personalities. So I made sure I always made fun friends with the creatives. I made fun friends with the media folks. And if I needed something, it was a more of a yes than you know, I was being annoying to them or they just didn't, you know, have time. So by forging those relationships, I could pretty much ask them for something. And my bosses were always very impressed. Like, how'd you get them to do that so quickly? I'm like, I just asked really nicely. Everyone says in the bridal industry, oh, you don't have any repeat customers. And you know, granted the brides aren't coming back, but their sisters are coming back. Their bridesmaids are coming back. So by establishing relationships with them, um, our business has just absolutely flourished.